Hi guys, welcome to another episode of um, me. You want to? Let me, you want me to show you my meat? Look at my meat. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. I decided to get some more tires for the Porsche, but uh, we're not gonna put those on today yet. I just wanted to show you my meat. This was way harder to get into than you understand. So. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, I did it. Oh. Okay. Before we get to, God, this thing's so nasty and dirty. Before we get too hectic with this car, I really want to take it on some track days. And uh, what better way to do that than some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. I'm excited to try them out, but first, we gotta make sure this thing is actually like drivable. If you watched yesterday's video, we slammed the Porsche. We installed the coilovers, finally. We couldn't adjust them the way I wanted to, so today I've got to, well, I want to go lower. The car's kind of raked right now. Let me show you. <laughs> We're a little bit lopsided. The front, dude, the front looks incredible. I think the front looks great. It drives functionally, it didn't, didn't scrape or bump or anything once on the way back, and I was haul assin'. The rears, we have a definitely, definitely a, a, an issue here. That's not much lower than stock height. So I'm ready to slam this car, I'm gonna get it as low as I want it to be. And the nice thing is, <sighs> the drive home was about an hour and a half, two hour drive. So, the springs are pr not settled in, but it, it gave my springs some opportunity to get broken in, settled in just a little bit. They were really stubborn yesterday, and didn't want to lower, so I'm hoping that getting my spanner wrenches and everything, shout out to the boys who brought my monster at the meet the other day, y'all are MVP. Hopefully we can get this thing a little lower. Yesterday towards the end we tried to lower the coilovers and I've been sitting here trying to figure it out. For some reason I can't I still can't really get the uh, the whole coilover assembly to go down into the collar of the coil. I went ahead and put some grease on these little perches right here. Just so we could try and get into the collar better. But the problem is it's really, really hard to get the black piece, the perch piece, to move down into this. So like watch this, watch this. I'm trying to move it down, and the whole thing moves, right? But watch, it'll get stuck. Right about here. And then and then the top just moves it by itself. And I don't want that. Because it's gonna then change the preload of the coilover and that's kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna sit here and try and figure out how in the world I'm gonna be able to move this up and down. Worst case scenario, it sounds absolutely awful, but I might have to disconnect it from up there and then just go ahead and move it. I uh I have no idea how I'm gonna do that, but we got this. Might not be the best thing in the world that I just did this, but um, hopefully it's okay. I'm gonna have to keep some downward pressure on this, and what I'm gonna do is just try and twist this whole assembly down into that. So I'm gonna need both hands for this, but yeah, let's, let's see. Okay, that didn't work at all. The top is completely detached from the rest of this, so that was a bad hypothesis. And it's also very, very, very hard to get it back in, but I finally got it. Next idea is I got the uh, I got some tape to put in the threads to put under these perch th the, the little dudes. So what they did was it binded it with the threads, but now it's it's still stuck. It gets stuck in almost the same place. Um, it just does not want to go lower than a certain point, which is really odd. Here's some news for the boys. I've been talking to Fortunato, and they think that they need to send me a super low set because. In, in their words, Porsche owners usually don't go low. I have tried a lot of things to get these things lower, and they're about to call me to, I guess, walk me through. Not that I really need it, I guess. I, I know how. We're gonna see. We might have to get new coilovers to go even lower, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is Evan. Yeah, so the the rear coilovers for some reason I cannot get the um, the middle part of the assembly to go down into the collar of the coilover to lower it. Sure. 
Okay. Yeah, it threads out just fine, but it stops. So I didn't I didn't think it was maxed out, but that's it's possible. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Got some awesome news for you guys. Guess what? This ride height is maxed out for these. I don't think it's any secret that uh, Porsches usually belong to old men. So basically what they said was their first set of coilovers they made for the Cayman, a lot of old guys complained that they were too low from factory. I don't know who gonna complain about being too low because that's what the boys are all about. A bunch of old men complained and basically said that these need to be stock height. So the rears, I just found out, are actually maxed out. Not sure why the fronts are so low, but we are literally maximum low. Now what they are going to do is they said they can make me a new spring and shock assembly, which really blows because that means I'm gonna have to do all this over again, but just so that I can go more low, they're gonna have to get me a whole new getup. It is what it is, and this kind of stuff happens. So, we are maxed out, we are as low as possible in the rears, at least for now. In order for me to look like I don't have dumb idiot syndrome, I am actually going to go ahead and raise the fronts, probably maybe an inch tops, so that we can at least match the rears and not look like a dummy. Worst case scenario, I'm still gonna be lower than stock height, not quite slammed, but we're gonna look a lot better and the car will handle a lot better. So let's get to that, make these coilovers as low as possible. Meanwhile, it's lunchtime. You guys should know that, uh, especially for my Snapchat, my wife and I love to cook and uh, we're doing lunchtime right now and I gotta show you guys this recipe, okay? It's the best sandwich I think you will ever try. Don't knock it until you try it. It might look good to some of you, might look gross to some of you, but here we go. So right now we, we out of here cooking. It's just, right now, it's just like ham, turkey, some uh, smoked gouda, and then I got some fresh diced jalapeno in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna broil the last piece of bread. I'm gonna go ahead and make it like nice and crunchy on top. And then I put some cream cheese and then hot Cheetos on the top. And it's like, it's weird, I know, but it's like a nice spite. Oh, it's so good. That was good. Back to the normal programming. <laughs> These fronts are definitely a little weirder. I've never seen a setup like this, but they're a lot shorter and uh, they're definitely maxed out. So I am 100% as low as I can go in the front, which I don't know why I didn't notice that yesterday, but I'm, I'm as low as I can go all the way around. I'm gonna try and match the rear. I'm probably gonna raise it maybe an inch or so, and that should fix at least the, the raked dilemma. I don't like that it looks raked. Okay, here we go, this is tight. So the top acts as it basically both of these little perches right here, right? Or whatever they're called. That is to lock this top one so that you don't change preload. That is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. So I've got t about two per- I've got two perches worth of ride height difference, and we should be good to go. And, uh, make sure that top perch is locked. There we go. Now, this is the tedious part of coilovers. I'm gonna lower it back down, and I'm gonna make sure that both the rear and the front are even. That's gonna be hard to judge right now because the other side is gonna be lower, so it might make this side look higher or lower, and it might make that look higher or lower, but we're gonna try and eyeball it, and then we're gonna just take a lot of time, spend a lot of time, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch the entire process of me doing this back and forth, so I'll let you know if it looks good. After taking all the wheels off way more times than I wanted to today, I think we're done now. The fronts, I ended up doing a little over three spanner wrench lengths up. And then this one was not actually max low, so I think that kind of threw it off, threw the equilibrium off a little bit. I'm gonna put this one on and we're gonna see how the ride height looks. Whoa, baby. Now that the back is lower and the front is a little more even with the back. It's actually pretty close. It looks better. 
anything looks better than it did stock. I think it's time to show you guys. Um, we are officially max low <laughs> uh, mm, on the Porsche. Let me show you guys. Gotta look at this the positive way though. At least we're not gonna scrape anywhere now. Oh, okay, I just heard a scrape, Never mind. Here's the new and improved ride height. It's, it's, it's better than stock. You know what, I'm gonna be positive about this. I'm not gonna scrape nowhere now, which is really awesome. The car is going to be extremely functional for track use, which is not really why I bought the car, but I'm trying to get out to either MSR Crescent or Eagles Canyon to do some, some hot laps in this thing. I certainly, certainly, certainly need an alignment, so we'll see. The only bummer is that I will not be able to put my Michelins on because I don't want to align this until I get the new coilovers on. Because as soon as I get the new coilovers, I'm gonna have to realign it anyways. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of destroy these tires, I guess. But here we go. You've got the, not this, I mean, it's definitely more wheel gap in the front and then in the back, it's not the worst thing in the world. The nice thing is it's still way lower than stock. Like it was a freaking monster truck stock. I could fit more than my fist in this wheel gap. And now I can, I mean, I've got, Four solid fingers, whatever. I'm gonna try and close that out whenever I get the new coils, but the car is gonna drive really, really well. And honestly, it's still, dude, it still looks so good. I don't understand some kids. I guess, I know, I get that this is not some people's style, but I don't know how you can look at the back of this car especially and be like, nah, this car is not that cool. If you guys don't think this car looks sick from behind, then you obviously don't like booty, okay? You obviously don't like booty. This little, this, this chick, Thick as hell, she got a round booty. The front still looks so, so good. Um, honestly, from the side, it's not bad. Seeing it on video, it's like, oh yeah, let's notice every little intimate detail about the car, but seeing it drive around, it's gonna look low and it's gonna look so good. That's as low as she is gonna go without looking complete stupid syndrome, right? Here's my Porsche. And by the way, I am looking into wheels. I know you guys were getting on to me about that. The problem is, I see the thing is I'm keeping a secret from you guys. And I'm really bad at keeping secrets. So, I'm, there's a lot of stuff going unsaid behind the scenes. There's a reason, uh, uh, can't say anything. One last look, one last look, cause this thing's so beautiful. This thing's so beautiful, except it's dirty as hell. But there you go, there my Cayman bro. There she is bro, she looking so damn good bro. Oh my God, oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, wait, wait, what do you got here? <gasps> is that season three? Is this season three? It's season three, it came early. How does it look? Does it look better? Yeah. It needs to be lower though. It needs but to be. It looks good. Did it, does it at least look even now? Yeah, yeah, it looks identical. Well, okay, she's obviously very enthusiastic about it. Let's go ahead and get this thing back inside. Sorry neighbors. There's no avoiding it. It's kind of a bummer that things have to be this way for a couple weeks, but the great thing is it's just temporary and it'll be fixed. I personally just want to thank you guys so much for being a part of this video, being a part of my life today. It's really awesome that I have so many people constantly support and watch the channel. It is really awesome. Here's to 100,000. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know what I mean. And I want to end the video just by saying something simple. You woke up today and you might not feel like doing something, but think about it this way. You were given and blessed with arms, with eyes to see, ears to hear, a mouth to speak, legs to walk. If that doesn't apply to you, I'm very sorry. But if you have all of those, there should be nothing stopping you from getting what you need to get done or what you want to do for the day. There's no reason to be lazy, especially if you are blessed with all of that. Sometimes I just don't want to do stuff, but then I think like there's some people out there without legs, without arms, that can't see, they can't hear, they can't speak, and I can do all of that. So why should I? not do my absolute best today. So I want you guys to be motivated by that and remember that. And constantly, even if it's the simplest things, no matter how crazy or bad your life may be getting, just remember that you can walk, you can speak, you can hear, you can see. Thank you all again. I love you all. See you, to, not tomorrow, because I'll see you next week. Peace out and be victorious. Uh, dude, seriously though, if you guys don't like this booty, I'm a, then you got something wrong with you. I need you to go to the doctor. And also, I need you to watch those two videos that are sitting right in front of you. I picked both of them just for you. So just watch them. I promise, I promise you they're both good.